Hi friends, welcome to TurboMath channel. In this video, we are going to solve three questions about PEMDAS rule. In the first question, we have 10 to the power of 2 plus open parentheses, 8 divided by 2 close parentheses, then times open parentheses, 6 minus 1 close parentheses, then all of them to the power of 2 minus 2 to the power of 4. What is the answer of this question? Some people solve this question like this. They say 10 to the power of 2 equals 100. 100 plus 8 divided by 2 which equals 4 then times 6 minus 1 which equals 5 and 5 to the power of 2 equals 25 then minus 2 to the power of 4 which equals 16 100 plus 4 equals 104 104 times 25 then minus 16 104 times 25 equals 2650 2650 minus 16 equals 2634 They say the final answer of this question equals 2634 But this answer is definitely wrong Let's solve this question step by step together Okay guys, in this question we have exponent, addition, parentheses, division, multiplication and subtraction to solve this question, we need to follow the order of operations which is PEMDAS. PEMDAS shows the priority of the mathematical operations and if you don't pay attention to this rule, you get the wrong answer. P stands for parentheses, E stands for exponent, M stands for multiplication, D stands for division, A stands for addition and S stands for subtraction. In this rule, multiplication and division have the same level of priority also, addition and subtraction have the same level of priority. And when we have both in an expression, we start from the left and simplify the question. According to the PEMDAS rule, first we simplify these parentheses. 8 divided by 2 equals 4. 10 to the power of 2 plus 4 times 6 minus 1, which equals 5. 10 to the power of 2 minus 2 to the power of 4. Okay guys, now we have exponent, addition, multiplication and subtraction. First, we simplify this exponent. 10 to the power of 2 equals 100. 100 plus 4, then times 5 to the power of 2 minus 2 to the power of 4. Now we have addition, multiplication, exponent and subtraction. In this step, we simplify this exponent. 5 to the power of 2 equals 25. 100 plus 4 times 25 then minus 2 to the power of 4 which equals 16. Now we have addition, multiplication and subtraction. First we do this multiplication. 4 times 25 equals 100. Now we have 100 plus 100 then minus 16. 100 plus 100 equals 200. Now we have 200 minus 16. Okay guys. 200 minus 16 equals 184. The final answer of this question equals 184. Okay guys, let's solve another question about PEMDAS rule. Negative 7 plus 7 times negative 6 plus 6 times 9. What is the answer of this question? In this question we have addition and multiplication. Some people solve this question like this. They start from the left and they don't pay attention to the priority of the mathematical operations. Negative 7 plus 7 equals 0. 0 times negative 6 plus 6 which equals 0, then times 9. 0 times 0 equals 0 and 0 times 9 equals 0. Again, some people solve this question like this. Negative 7 plus 7 equals 0. 0 times negative 6 plus 6, then times 9. 0 times negative 6 equals 0. 0 plus 6 then times 9. 0 plus 6 equals 6 and 6 times 9 equals 54. They say the final answer of this question equals 54. But this answer is definitely wrong. Let's solve this question step by step together. Again, to solve this question, we need to follow the PEMDAS rule. PEMDAS shows the priority of the mathematical operations. Parentheses, exponent, multiplication, division, addition and subtraction. According to the PEMDAS rule, first we simplify this multiplication. 7 times negative 6 equals negative 42. Now the question is, negative 7 minus 42 plus 6 
then times 9. Now we have subtraction, addition and multiplication. First we do this multiplication. 6 times 9 equals 54. Now the question is negative 7 minus 42 plus 54. Negative 7 minus 42 equals negative 49. Now we have negative 49 plus 54. Negative 49 plus 54 equals 5. The final answer of this question equals 5. Okay guys, let's solve another question about PEMDAS rule. In this question we have negative 8 plus 8 times negative 7 plus 7 then times 10. What is the answer of this question? Some people solve this question like this. They say negative 8 plus 8 equals 0. 0 times negative 7 plus 7 which equals 0 then times 10. 0 times 0 equals 0 and 0 times 10 equals 0. They say the final answer of this question equals 0 but this answer is wrong. Again some people solve this question like this. Negative 8 plus 8 equals 0. 0 times negative 7 plus 7 then times 10. 0 times negative 7 equals 0. 0 plus 7 then times 10. Again they start from the left and simplify. 0 plus 7 equals 7 and 7 times 10 equals 70. They say the final answer of this question equals 70 but this answer is definitely wrong. Let's solve this question step by step together. In this question we have addition and multiplication. To solve this question we need to follow the order of operations which is PEMDAS. PEMDAS shows the priority of the mathematical operations. In this rule P stands for parentheses, E stands for exponent, M stands for multiplication, D stands for division, A stands for addition and S stands for subtraction. As you know, multiplication and division have the same level of priority, also addition and subtraction have the same level of priority. When we have both in an expression, we start from the left and simplify the question. According to the PEMDAS rule, first we simplify this multiplication. 8 times negative 7 equals negative 56. Now we have negative 8 minus 56 plus 7, then times 10. Okay guys, now we have subtraction addition and multiplication in this step we simplify this multiplication 7 times 10 equals 70 now we have negative 8 minus 56 then plus 70 negative 8 minus 56 equals negative 64 now we have negative 64 plus 70 negative 64 plus 70 equals 6 the final answer of this question equals 6 guys if you want to get the right answer of this question, you must follow the PEMDAS rule. And if you don't pay attention to this rule, you get the wrong answer. To see more mass videos, subscribe to the channel. Goodbye.